Hello, uh, this is Sonia Garcia Blanco. I am an assistant professor from the Optical Science Group of the Faculty of Science and Technology of the University of Twente. We are associated with the Mesa Plus Institute for Nanotechnology. Within the Optical Science Group, uh, I'm leading the Integrated Optical Systems subgroup, and in this subgroup, we are interested in the photonic integration uh, of novel active nano devices with plasmonics uh, and uh, passive optical waveguides for applications in telecommunications and optical sensing. We are living in a smart world that is controlled by sensors. Our car, our appliances, our house, everything is controlled by sensors. And from these sensors, a very high part are optical sensors. Optical sensors have many advantages. They are free from electromagnetic interference, they have very high sensitivity and they can process a lot of information simultaneously. Uh, an optical sensor consists mainly of three parts. We have the laser, which generates the light, the photodetector that detects the light that comes out of the device, and in between we have the sensor, the transducer, which interacts with the molecules that we want to detect and varies uh, different properties of the light, for example, the intensity, the phase or the spectral information. Thanks to the microfabrication technologies and also the advances in integrated optics leveraged from the telecommunication industry, now we can integrate hundreds or thousands of these optical sensors on a chip, on a wafer. And this permits us not only to achieve very low-cost devices, but also to realize multiple uh, analyses simultaneously. This can find very interesting applications, for example, if we want to uh, characterize the, con the concentration of bacteria in a certain liquid or microorganisms, particles, etc. Uh, and this can find very interesting applications in health, in output industry, industrial process control, and of course, in research and development. Integrated optical sensors are based in optical waveguides, and optical waveguides are like little light pipes where the light travels inside. And these uh, light pipes, these optical waveguides, can, depending on the technology, can vary between a few micrometers diameter to a few hundred nanometers, so they are really, really small. When the electromagnetic field travels in these uh, waveguides, part of it, which is called the vanessent field, travels outside and therefore can interact with the substances that we want to detect. In our newly founded project called Waterprint, we're going to benefit from the high sensitivity of these metallic nanoparticles in combination with optical waveguides to produce sensors to realize the fingerprinting of contaminant in drinking water. And this is a project in collaboration with several water companies uh, that, if successful, they will introduce uh, these sensors in the distribution network. Integrated optical sensors are not just a very interesting research field, but are now currently being commercialized. In the Twente region, there are a lot of spin-off companies coming out of the Mesa Plus Institute for Nanotechnology. One of these companies is Lionix, uh, which are very active in the field of integrated optics. They have developed their proprietary technology, a Triplex, which is a waveguide technology, and in this platform, they are developing several uh, optical sensors that are currently being commercialized. The presence of such a number of companies around the Mesa Plus Institute for Nanotechnology makes this a very innovative and collaborative environment.